In this Builders demo, we're going to show you how to streamline student information requests by automatically directing requests to the appropriate department. This Builders demo was inspired by the workflow used by Azusa Pacific University to streamline requests for student documents such as transcripts. Let's get started by logging into your Formstack account and navigating to the Forms tab. Select Create. Here, you'll see you have the option to create a form, survey, or workflow. Select the Workflow option. Give your workflow a title. For this example, we're going to start with a blank workflow. Update the name and description of your workflow section so it makes sense to your end user. This section of our workflow will be added to our website so that students and other external users can make requests. Subsequent sections of our workflow will be directed to specific departments to fill requests. Next, we're going to drag and drop the fields we want on our form. We're collecting data with radio buttons, drop-down lists, and short answer fields. Next, we'll update the field names and options. We're asking requesters to include their name, email, and details about their requests such as file type and number of copies. We've decided that a drop-down list isn't the best field here. Updating field types is easy and in most cases won't affect the field name and options you've already added. We want end users to be able to request multiple different files, such as transcripts and attendance records so we're going to use a checkbox field instead. We're also going to add logic to a few of our fields to make our form easier to use. To add conditional logic, select the logic drop-down on the field you'd like to appear under certain conditions. In this example, we only want to ask users when they would like their transcript process if they are requesting an official or unofficial transcript. So we're updating the rule to reflect that. Now we'll add a section where designated department members can upload the requested files. Drag and drop a file upload field for each file type and update the field label. We'll add logic to each of these file upload fields so they only appear when they have been requested. Next, we'll set up our workflow. Head over to the Workflow tab. Here you can give each step a title and tie the step to a specific section of your form. We want to direct requests to specific departments based on fields in our form. This way, if someone requests a transcript from the School of Nutrition, that request is only sent to a team member in the Student Affairs Department of that school. To make this work, we'll need to update a field on our form. We're going to update the field where the student's school is indicated so that requests are directed to team members on that specific campus. Select the field and scroll down to Advanced Options Editor. Select Use Separate Values and add the email address of the team member you'd like to fill the request for that campus. Save your form. Now we'll head over to the Settings tab where we'll update emails and actions. Add an assignment email. Formstack will populate the email for you, but you can update options if necessary. For our last step, we're going to use Formstack documents to send an overview of the request and requested documents to our end user. On the Integrations tab, choose Formstack documents. We'll add our authentication credentials from another document in our account. If you've never used your Formstack documents account with your Formstack Forms account, you'll need to pull your API and secret key from your Formstack Documents account. Check out the video linked in the upper right-hand corner for more details. We're going to use the Export to Formstack Documents feature to automatically create and map our document using the fields on our form. Select Create a new document using the form. You'll notice that Formstack automatically pulls in and maps the form fields for us. Select Customize your document in Formstack Documents. Once we've checked that our document looks good, we'll save our document and set up our delivery. Formstack Documents has already generated an email for us. Select Edit. We'll use merge fields from our document to customize and personalize our email. 
you're ready to run a test. You'll see that the end user only sees the first section of our form. Once they hit submit, our workflow kicks off. An email is sent to the first reviewer to upload a file based on their requested document from the designated campus. Once the file is uploaded, all of the information is sent to Formstack Documents, where an email is generated with an overview of the request information and a copy of the requested file. To hear about this workflow in action, check out our podcast, Ripple Effect, where Formstack CEO Chris Byers shares insights into overcoming workplace challenges, making smart business decisions, and creating lasting change. Check out other videos in our Builder series and subscribe to our channel to get notified when new videos come out.